Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. I just wanted to take some time to say thank you to Electrify America. And uh, the reason I'm saying this is they just announced this morning, I just got a couple of messages on my app on my phone, uh, that they were opening their Green River, Utah charging sites. And this is really important news because what this means is that you can now in a 200 mile electric vehicle drive from Los Angeles to New York or from New York back to Los Angeles uh, in a 200 mile EV using exclusively 150 kilowatt to 350 kilowatt chargers without ever having to leave an interstate without having to deviate from your route uh, so basically one continuous line of 150 kilowatt or faster DC chargers open and available to the public at this point. Uh, and that's worth acknowledging, right? I mean, that's a, that's a big feat. I was a little bit worried for a while when Electrify America said they didn't have plans for Green River in Utah because that really is sort of the linchpin on I-70 connecting through Utah. Uh, but they went ahead and the site is now live, so it's a big deal. It, it means that Porsche Taycan drivers, Audi e-tron drivers, you know, upcoming Volvo Polestar 2 or Mustang Mach-E drivers, they could all drive from Los Angeles to New York in under two days at this point. And that's important, that's impressive. Uh, so I wanted to say thank you to Electrify America for making that happen. But the one thing that I want to say is uh, we're still missing some chargers. There are still some gaps in the network. And one of those is on Kingman, Arizona, I-40. There's absolutely no excuse for not having a charger there. Uh, then the other is, you know, I-80 through Wyoming. Another big gap. There are some gaps in I-80 in Nevada. These are all things that need to be covered by Electrify America moving forward, not to mention I-90 and I-95. And I think Electrify America really needs to break out of this model of only covering areas where electric vehicle owners already live and drive and work. That's not good. We need to be able to cover the routes where people want to travel and need to travel. So uh, that being said though, this is a huge first step. Some of those other gaps I'm sure will come in time, uh, but I'm just really hoping that Electrify America listens to electric vehicle owners and can you know, make those changes to their network, fill in some of the gaps on these uh, interstate corridors so that we have more routes like that. So you can drive directly from San Francisco to New York using only DC fast chargers or directly from Seattle to New York using only DC fast chargers. So uh, I, I think that's, that's a big deal. You know, it's a big deal because of the speed. It's a big deal because of the gaps in the network and the vehicles that it's going to facilitate moving forward. Uh, but, you know, there's still a lot of work to do. But anyway, I just wanted to acknowledge that because, you know, give a little shout out to Electrify America and say good job and hopefully some of the other charging networks join you in uh, you know, building out along these uh, inner city corridors, these uh, interstate corridors that are basically connecting metropolitan areas. Anyway, uh, I, hope, I hope this is informative. I, I hope people are now getting ready to, to make plans to travel across the country. And uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And thank you for watching.